everybody and welcome to Bunky's workshop. I am Bunky and welcome aboard. Today I bring you a vacuum cleaner, of course. It is a Eureka High Filtration Commercial Upright Vacuum. Anyways, quick story with this is a friend and I were on our way to help another person do a clean out on their home they were moving and a yard sale we found. So, of course, this stuck out with the bright yellow, and I do love the vacuum cleaners, and I figured I would stop and do some bargaining. So, on top here, they have it labeled for $20. So, I said, what is your final offer? And they said, $15. So, I opened my wallet, and I have $13 plus a bunch of 50s, and they don't have any change. So I said, well, I'm not gonna pay $50 for this vacuum. And since I don't have $20 for this vacuum, we can either barter and take the $13 that I have in ones, or I'm moving on, and they took the $13. So I got this vacuum with a huge bag, and let me get it real quick, hold on. I got this whole bag full of vacuum bags. And it is one, and this one says three bags, vacuum cleaner bags, F and G. Another one, three bags not opened, F and G. Another bag not opened, F and G. Another bag not opened, F and G. And then we do have finally one bag, of F and G, very old and kind of nasty looking, that has been opened. And there's several bags in there. But anyways, and that was it. So for $13, I have a ton of bags and a vacuum that really has not been used. Um, there are no, hardly no scratches. Now it looks like it's been sitting, it's very dusty. So I don't know. Let's give it a quick clean. I have my little rag. Let's give a little bit of a clean. While Gidget around here, my ruppy here, is uh, giving it a little bit of a sniff and overlook. Yeah, it is quite dusty. Maybe I'll do a video on it. I'll just take it apart and do an internal check. Um, all I did was, when I got it home, was plug it in and just make sure that it was safe. And it ran. But... I'll just do a quick little clean up on it. Nothing major. Just get some of the dust off. It's really weird. There's no scratches on this. Or I wonder if they just bought it and was going to use it and didn't or didn't like using it. I don't know. I guess I should have asked some questions. But when you get a good deal, you take it and run, right? But there you go, she had it marked <laughs> $20 and I got it for $13. That's a good deal in my, my world. But there you go, it's nice and wiped off. Um, I did grab a belt from my shop just to see, because I didn't know if I was going to need it or not. I hope I grabbed the right one. Let me see uh, what it says on the bottom. Model number C is in cat 2094, I believe is what it says. Yes, model number C is in cat 2094. Uh, amps 7.8. Electrolux Home Care Products. Commercial type vacuum cleaner. Hertz looks like. 60 hertz? Kind of blurry. Huh. What else does it say? It just says commercial. Anyways, let's um, flip this around. Let's... There's really no dirt, seems like, in the bag, but I don't want someone else's dirt. So I'm going to 
have fun and change the bag. So it looks like it has been used. There is some dirt in here. Very little. And I guess when I do a tear down with this, I can vacuum all this out. Okay. So it's got your typical spring. Yuck. little bit of dust but we are going to put a new bag in it because I think it deserves one well it is pouring down raining here I was going to close the pool today but uh, maybe not in the rain huh These are not the best bags in the world. I think uh, these are your typical. These are clearly not the bags that came with it. Anyways, I'm gonna use this just for temporary, just to get it running. And then um, I will get some better bags for it. I might have some down in the workshop. I'm not sure. But I just want to do a quick play, if you will. There we go. So the bag is installed. Nice, clean bag. Zipper works nicely. Now, let's check. This must not have been used much at all because there's really hardly any scratches on the wheels and the base plate is shiny and no dirt and scratches. So I wonder what the story was with this. I wonder if they bought it to use it and change their mind, or I wonder, well, they're only about a mile down the street. I can always talk to them one day, right? Because the brush roll, um, no dirt on it, no scratches. It doesn't, not, it doesn't even look like it's been used. And this has the uh, uh, very rigid uh, bristles. And of course, with the uh, beater bar, let's take this open. There is no dirt in there. So I wonder what the store, wow, but this belt, that is a very loose belt. Huh. Well, fan blade looks great. No chips or dents or all right, well, let's take this belt off. And let's see if this belt works. Huh. Well, it definitely is tighter. Yeah, this must have been on there for a long time. Huh, anyway, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. I'm just here to have a little bit of fun with the vacuum today. And let's, to make sure that I installed it correctly and you hear this good boy run. This cable on here is really thick. This cord. It's a very 
thick cord. All right. Like I said, I did turn it on just to make sure it ran, but other than that, let's see what this thing does. Well, very smooth. And I noticed you know, a headlight works. So this cable is very long. You guys have been watching so many videos on YouTube from UK. And you guys say cable and we say port or wire. But I'll show this to you and get a better look at this. This is a very thick wire, cable, the cord, whatever you want to call it. It's very, very long. So yes, this is a setup for a commercial vacuum. I guess to using offices or wherever. But uh, we're going to give it a spin. And let's see. It's on medium pile. So let's just see what happens. Let's have a little fun. it sucks down onto the carpet and really kind of slows down a little bit but uh, <laughs> headlight works it works quite fine so how about I put you down on the floor put down some rice or something and we'll do a suck up so give me a second okay we got some rice here we're gonna put this down on the floor and see how it does okay Gidget go on Gidget go on go on girls not for you Gidget no not for you. There we go. We have some rice on the floor and we're going to suck it up. So maybe some crunchies, if you will.
everybody. Thank you for coming along. There we have the Eureka High Filtration Commercial Upright Vacuum with the beater bar. It does a great job. Um, this definitely is not the carpet for it. Um, even though it has one through five, is it? One, two, three, four. One through six settings. But I'm kind of stuck between three and four. If I go too high, of course, it doesn't touch the carpet. If I go too low, then it bogs down the brush roll and the motor. So too bad it doesn't have that setting like for right in between. Too bad you can't dial it in. Other than that, for $13, I am not complaining. So, wow. A little bit warm though, that's for sure. Well, there you go for the Eureka Commercial Upright Vacuum Cleaner first run. Um, thank you all for tuning in and stopping in for this little uh, video. If you get a chance, subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, maybe give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. And always ring that bell. Yes, you're going to hear it so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Okay? I hope everyone out there is safe and having a good time. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.